Well, hello everybody. Welcome to part four of the Game of Sultans Arena tutorial. I've gotten some questions and I just want to take the time to like give you some examples and maybe clear up some confusion and discuss some strategies you can use to bring you and your server to the top of the Union scoreboard. Well, sorry, Arena Madness scoreboard. If you see in the background here, I have the official game of Sultans uh, Discord up. I'm in player created guide, so just a quick review here. Official Game of Sultans Discord. You should be in it. It's amazing. It's got a lot of good resources. And up at the top of this channel is this spreadsheet link. Go to it. You have seen screenshots of this spreadsheet everywhere. If you have shared information with players on how to play and how to improve your game, this is the spreadsheet that they are sending you screenshots of. And those screenshots are often dated. Look at how frequently this thing gets updated. And look at this amazing change control, like, log. I love it. If I could get people at work to do this, like, I'm, I do dark control. If I could get them to do this, that would be amazing. Daydreaming there. There's so many interesting tabs here with so much information. Like, you know, how to build your viziers for hunting. What you should be looking for in war. But most importantly, arena. I think the most repeated question I've been getting has been a lot of, well, talent investment, aka how much talent each vizier has, can't possibly be the thing that does makes you successful in arena. Well, no, there's more to it than that. So you know how we have academy, we put our viziers in academy, number one tip, have 10 seats in academy, even if you don't. Like, you are giving them the skill books and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's stuff. But really, you can build to as far as you want here in Arena and give all them the skill books. But the thing that matters most in HP is based on your um, attributes. Attributes are driven by what? They're driven by talent. It's a multiplier. Um, here you have the formula. And then here is some scoring guides. There's so much here. I don't want to like recycle things for y'all. I just highly recommend it. And use the live version. Please stop using screenshots. It breaks my little heart when I see stuff that's dated and people are like, oh, but I followed blank and blank. Well, they changed that like a month ago and didn't you keep up with it? So that's a resource for you. Let's get into the game. So here we are, day one of Arena Madness. I have a server I haven't hit on. I hope I'm logged in. I'm gonna find out that I had this up. Ooh, look at that. I am in fact logged in. Awesome. So if we go to ranking refs, here we, you can see in arena, I'm not ranked very high, I'm low. Part of this is that the best thing you can do for your personal score in arena is to hit like four and a half hours before the end of the first day. Your personal score cannot go below zero. If you wait until the end of the first day, you're giving people less opportunity to hit you hard. And the first thing most people do when arena starts is go through their revenge list. Because they got beef. No, because it's easy. Um, and because they're generally people that are in your fight, your weight class. So it's polite to hit people in your weight class. Not hit the small players. Not, you know... Staying your, in your lane, so to speak. So if you wait until four and a half hours before reset, that gives you an opportunity to use each of your free ones, plus 30 minutes to go through and use your bonus ones with the PvP seals. And you're like, oh, okay, that might kind of make sense. But I like to get on right at reset, and I like to destroy, I like to do it at the very beginning of the day. You know, your schedule's going to determine that. It's a game. These are some strategies. The other thing is, your union score, that can go negative. I popped this up for you right now, but I don't want to like show how everybody's doing. Know that, you know, my union's doing not so hot right now. Um, but, you know, it's only day one and we got a couple hours till reset still. We'll see how we're doing. So, who's ranking first right now? Franzi, I really like Franzi, but number two is Caro. I don't have strong feelings on Caro, but was she 
we got so notice up here in previous challenge I have moon's evil cat that's uh another player who's i know every single vizier level uh, because it's my player <laughs> and they're all low on purpose and they're designed to be beat up in arena so i try to get that up on the board at least once a day for people in the server to use doesn't always happen, but I do try. Oh, shoot. I was hoping Carol would be up here. Strategy number one that I would recommend to you is at least try one time an, an arena rush to hit that top player or hit those top players. Sorry, let me grab her ID real quick. There we go. She's also number one in our server, like in terms of power. So it's not like that's incredibly hard to find. You could grab our ID anywhere. And we're just going to do this. Because I want to show you, and, and just in case you didn't see that, I'm ranked what? 50th here? I'm not a top player. I'm ranked about 50 again in arena. Not a top player. You're sitting there going, oh, why are you going to do this? Number 50 hitting number one. Because it's fun. <laughs> Arena isn't personal. This is a game. And for everybody into two, a big old wave, you're going to learn way too much about me at this point. I will be destroyed after this. I hope everybody appreciates this. This is how a smaller player can hit a number one player and do very well. Now, I could just use my really big talent guy here, Ibrahim, and like just do massive damage. Carol has, I think, four viziers that are over a thousand. So I want to show you, without using that big dog, how I could do really well. So I'm going to use Yiva's. I think that's his name. Again, I don't pronounce anything right. First things first. My three extra bonuses. I could hit auto right now. It'd be a very quick video. If I did, I'd die almost instantly. Instead, we're going to step-by-step step go through this. I'm going to bet, based on my previous experience, that she has her power in some very really interesting places. So I'm going to just kind of step through here and see where we are at. And in case you're wondering, like, what am I doing in the background here? Thinking very carefully. <laughs> Normally I say uh, you're hitting a big player, hit HP always, even if it's going to max you out. This is the first hit. It didn't really do a lot of damage. It's been a little while since I've hit um, Kara as well, so I'm kind of being interested to see what she's been building up recently. Not a creepy way. More in a I'm curious way. Notice how everybody's red. I'm not really getting a lot of uh, cues as to where she's putting things. I rush through. I don't want to see the amount that's getting hit, I get bored. Just as boring as it is watching me do this, I'm sure. So hurry of us, last time I hit it was much weaker than mine. Let's see if that's still true. That's still true. Sweet, sweet. I love this guy, by the way. He has a six star military. And I love just like gambling and giving him everything because he grow pretty decently. I talk incessantly too. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just like a me thing. And notice that her um, bad five is what I call them. That's not what they're actually called. Aren't really built up. Um, I made a joke once that she builds like a, a smaller player, like a, a VIP one. I don't know that that's actually fair to her, but I don't know who this guy is. Interesting. So if I remember right, this blue turban guy is actually really built up for, it's not something most people build up. So let's check him out. Oh, yep. Pretty built up for him. Alamos. I've been calling him old blue turban guy for so long. <laughs> interesting this is high danger this is 
uh, probably not as much danger. This is probably moderate danger. So I'm going to go here. Not far from wrong. Nice. I think most big players have still about 20 players or 20 viziers, sorry, that aren't as built up as you would think that a regular player can actually do some big damage on. But the small players don't seem to know this because they don't hit them. Challenge them. Put them in their place. He's big. If I remember correctly, he's like maybe 300. We're going to find out. I bet you I get him. I'm going to go with semis. Mm, nice. Sorry, I'm hitting my mic there. Got it, you know, like, oh, what am I going to do? Kerman is the only one not green haloed right there, so I'm going to take a bet. Notice that I'm not buying anything here. Honestly, I should be buying because uh, <laughs> this is Yusuf, my friend. This is a, a big player, so you should be buying, buying those bonuses and building yourself up when you have the opportunity before you hit somebody that you need that, that extra oomph for. Not doing too bad right now. I want to say her Morsif is built up, but I don't... Nope. Nice. We're still in the safety zone. It's kind of what you do with bigger players. I'm going to get rated so much for this, you guys. I'm like, mm, do I care? I do care. Do I care a lot? I don't care a lot. Hocus is somebody people like to make into an arena decoy a lot. He gets lots of badges, but he's not leveled up. Oh, when did she get Joan? All right, I'll be Jelly. That was an interesting one too. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Probability is um, give everybody tears, kind of. So yellow marbles being moderate danger, green models, marbles for being completely safe. I think her cinnamon was really safe last time. Yeah, look, green. And then red for like danger, danger. And you put them all in a bag and you mix them up. You have a high probability of getting somebody that's green because green makes up the majority of the bag. But if you get three in a row that aren't, you know, all that great for you, they're red. You got to just choose the best from your options kind of doing this off memory, which is not something I do very often either. Candor? I want to say it's probably our safest bet there. Not bad. See, I'm just going and getting that, uh, that HP bonus before I need it. There we go. That's some real hit. Hmm, Kulik it's hot. I like to give him badges, but I don't think she does. She doesn't build up many of her fives. Baltic is somebody that I like to make an arena decoy. So if you're like, oh, I know Budokan, different servers. <laughs> I, I build my viziers pretty similarly. I like to change it up a little bit, but chances are if I favor a vizier one time, I'm going to favor him again. Chances are, if you're risk averse, you're going to stay risk averse, so you don't feed those uh, those five star blue stars. Ooh, ooh, ow! You wonder what I'm alling there? That's a four ninety, and somebody I would never ever guess to be that high. I kind of wonder if I'm like conflating people. Still avoiding those halos. Avoiding those halos. It's a lot of halos right there. Um, actually, I didn't want that. Oh, yeah. Did you see that how I did that? If you accidentally say no, you still get it back by doing that. Sorry, I was just listening to my cat's fight. It's great. Uh, 
Alrighty here. Danger, danger, danger. I'm going to guess. Nope, I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to die. This is death, everybody. Say hello to my death. Yep. Goodbye, me. But, number 50, I just gained almost 60 points. Well, 57. Hitting the number one player in the server. And I think she's number one in Arena too. Yep, she sure is. That's how you do it. You pick around carefully. You choose carefully. Okay? So I think that's the end of this video. It's a good stopping point. I showed you some resources. I showed you a strategy. Like, honestly, if my union was more competitive right now and uh, Carol was in a union that was, you know, competing, I would kind of hit the same way. Um, oh, if your union's going hard or you have a player in your union who's going for that number one spot. So if I was trying to support Franzi right now um, and staying number one, so if I was in Franzi's union and I wanted to keep her number one, but my score itself wasn't that great, I have a recommendation for you. So let's go to somebody that's really built up on here. <laughs> Franzi's pretty built up. I'm going to challenge Franzi. So I'm going to support Franzi in her quest to be number one. This is how I'm going to do it. I challenge her or I revenge her. It's the only time revenging your own union mates is ever okay. I don't do any of this. Uh-uh. This is me doing a solid for Franzi. I go for the person I think she has the strongest of my three. I'm using my weakest vizier. Merry Christmas, Franzi. Or happy birthday. Oh, I lost a point. Boo hoo hoo. Guess what? Her score went up too. You know how we know that? You go back to this lovely spreadsheet. What happens when you die on impact? Their score goes up too. Right? It's just a bonus. So, that would be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And that it wasn't too boring. But honestly, fun stuff.